Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a quick vlog update on Supercars of London. I've been fairly quiet over the last couple of days. I had a great weekend with family, and yesterday I was flat out stupid busy, um, sat at that desk working out a lot of plans for 2015. Today, I want to do a vlog and uh, bring you guys into my Audi R8. I'm thinking of doing a bit of a point of view, a bit of mouth cam maybe, and talking to you about a few things that have been going on, um, including the Twitter competition that happened on Friday. I'm going to tell you all about how to enter if you haven't already it's got over 600 retweets so definitely get involved it's going to be a big one and i'm going to be announcing the winner on christmas eve so it's going to be a bit of a christmas special announcing a winner giving uh, one of you guys the opportunity to drive three supercars and also have a passenger ride driven by a racing driver in another supercar the competition is open to all ages as well so if you're under 17 years old and don't have a driving license then there's still a possibility of having a fantastic supercar car experience day. Right now I'm in the SB Race Engineering office, let's head downstairs to the car, it hasn't been driven in the last 36 hours so um, it's probably going to be quite a cold start because it's absolutely freezing today. It was, I think it was minus one or minus two degrees when I woke up this morning and the Fiat 500 was all frosted over. But let's head downstairs and check out how freezing it is inside the R8. Oh. It's definitely cold. Look at all of these water blubs here. One thing that you may have noticed as well about the appearance is I've accidentally shaved um, everything off that was here, here, and um, I probably had a little bit here. It's actually grown back a lot quicker here. Didn't realize. Um, I completely mucked up when I was doing a shave on Sunday. You don't really need to know any more than that, but I look completely different, I get ID'd everywhere now, and I'm not going to be surprised if the police decide to pull me over in this car for looking underage. 3.5 degrees, I've got the... I'll show you actually, rather than tell you. 3.5 degrees, got the frost light on, 20... 20 miles of fuel, don't worry, I've got the ignition on and these always stay on. No doubt the uh, engine light's gonna be on anyway. I'm just gonna try and warm this car up as well to um, just make it a little bit more comfortable for me to vlog in. I'm gonna go out for a drive in this car as well today um, and do a bit of point of view for you guys so you guys can see what it's like to drive this car, stick you in my mouth, mouth cam, and um, have some fun. The roads look quite slippery, so I'm not going to be turning the traction control off.
has been got and I'm back now headed towards the petrol station. I might show you on mouth cam what it's like if I accelerate in first gear with the traction control off only in a straight line um, because if you go around a turning with the traction control off then you're in a whole world of trouble. Um, but I think it's uh, it'll be interesting to try and capture it on mouth cam for you guys to see what happens in a straight line in first gear in this car with the traction control off when the roads are wet. So now we're heading into uh, the Tesco's fuel station, which seems to be a daily chore now, but I'm not gonna be filling the car up too much with fuel because this is actually going into storage over the next couple of weeks over Christmas while I'm in France. So um, it's only gonna get me, um, well, back to SB really, and just enough to keep in the tank for when I come back so that I can go and get fuel when I get back. But here we go, 113, it's going down, brilliant. Epic view, just what you want to be behind. Shush, parking sensors talking to each other. But there we go, that was um, sort of an hour on my Tuesday morning. I think it's still the morning. I hope it's still the morning. Um, so we went for a little drive, yeah, it's 20 to, 20 to 12. So I've got plenty of time to edit this video. 20 to 12, uh, we did a bit of a point of view. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I, I showed you or demonstrated what it's like to have the traction control off in slightly slippery weather. So you do not want to know what it's like when it's absolutely pouring it down, which happens quite regularly here in the UK. But it's cold as well, which don't help the tires because they don't get that much grip. Even though I've been driving for the last um, half an hour or so, maybe the tires were a little bit cold as well but that was definitely the safest demonstration of not having the traction control off I had both hands on the steering wheel so um, there's definitely nothing to worry about I hope there's nothing to worry about I bet it looks even worse on camera on video anyway so this is the tweet to look out for on my Twitter account I tweeted it last Friday at 7 p.m. so I don't think it's too far to scroll back but it's all part of virgin experience make giving fun so um, a little Christmas competition on supercars of London get involved retweet and you could be in the the chance of winning um, this fantastic experience day and hopefully I'll be there as well driving some supercars so we'll be able to share um, experiences of driving some of the same cars and I might also um, if I'm if I'm in this car be able to take you out for a quick spin in the R8 as well but as it's Christmas coming up and most of you know I'm going to France over the new uh, Christmas I'm going on the 27th I get back on the 2nd so it's not actually over Christmas it's over New Year and it's in a place where it is absolutely um, in the middle of nowhere no phone signal whatsoever which is going to be a real shame because I'm not going to be able to tweet Instagram at all. YouTube is still going to be running fine though. Um, I've almost got all of the videos ready to go live over the Christmas period which I'm really looking forward to sharing with you. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this quick vlog update. Um, it was more so um, for you to sh see my new beard or no beard or whatever it was before but completely shaven off and I look about 12 years old now. I've got the SB Race Engineering Christmas party on Thursday. Wish I could vlog that, um, but I think the camera is gonna stay at home for that one. Maybe next year, maybe next year at a Christmas party, but I'll tell you what, next year in 2015, I'm definitely gonna be vlogging a few parties um, around Europe. Can't say too much more than that, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. And I keep teasing you about 2015, mainly because there's not that many days left of 2014, and I'm really looking, I'm just looking forward to 2015 now. Um, but I'll be back on a few more vlogs this week. Throwback Thursday as usual on Sa uh, Thursday not Saturday. Friday, I will do a sort of say goodbye to the Audi R8 as it goes into storage day. Um, Saturday, here's a quick teaser about this Saturday. So the car's filthy. The Christmas tree place is right there. I'm not too fussed about um, getting dirt, getting the pine needles and things like that onto my car or in the interior because Aspect Valentin can sort that out. Um, it's just whether it's gonna uh, ruin my wrap. Go with it. See how we go. Thank you. <laughs> See ya.
It's almost the length of my car. So that is the question. Can you fit a 10 foot Christmas tree in the Audi R8? Post your bets in the comment box below. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Subscribe, share, like, comment. Do all of the usual things that you do because your support is absolutely fantastic. Take care and I'll see you more this week.